Hello everyone, today I'm trying out the Caran d'Ache Neo Color 2. That's the first time I tried them. I've had the set for a little while, but never got the chance to try. So I thought today I was going to have a little bit of fun. The Neo Color 2, they are water soluble crayons, not really watercolor crayons um, because they're very opaque. So that's why I wouldn't call them watercolor crayons. They're just water soluble. Well, I guess you could uh, add enough water so that they can look like watercolors, but I do like the fact that they are opaque. Because they're nice and opaque and they are very pigmented, I thought I would use a toned paper because I really like how colors really pop on colored paper. And I had saved this picture uh, from Unsplash with, uh, with those three onions and I thought that there's so much white in this picture that the contrast would be really nice. So I sketched the onions on my paper and I must admit that I did not follow the advice from my previous video where I said that when you try a new medium, you probably shouldn't draw or paint something tiny because you need room to try it out. You need room to express yourself. And although this paper is 9 by 12, those onions are so skinny that it was not that easy to actually uh, add the colors and play with the crayons. That said, when I first put the crayon onto the paper, it was really nice. It's very creamy and very smooth as well. So I thought that for this first layer, I would just put all the colors that I could see on the photo on the paper. Just scribble those colors because my intention was to dilute them and blend them together with a wet brush, which I did. And when I picked up my brush, and started adding water, it was so satisfying to see those pigments melt and blend together. It works really well. Now the trick is to figure out just how much water to use. You don't want to use too much water and push the pigments around too much and start seeing the paper. I did that a few times and I figured out that I, I should put a little bit less water in, on my brush. And then if you don't put enough water on your brush, it's a little harder to blend the pigments. So one set, I'm going to say second layer. It's not really the second layer, but I basically blended everything with water and it looked very nice and bright. Those pigments are gorgeous. The next step was adding details and I thought I tried my Caran d'Ache palette with it. For those of you who aren't familiar with it, I made a little video about it. It's a very fun tool. It has a side that's nice and smooth and you can use it with watercolors or other paint. And the other side has a texture, kind of like a cutting board. So you can actually put the pigments from the crayon onto the palette and it really catches the pigments because of that texture. And after that, you just use a wet brush and use the pigments just like paint and you can actually mix those pigments together on the palette as well. So that's another way to apply your paint if you want to add details because obviously crayons can be uh, pretty uh, thick and adding details especially on the model that I chose <laughs> for my first try. I really needed to use a fine brush so that worked really well that way. So at this point, I figured that I could mix colors together on the paper as well as on the palette. And another thing that I tried was to rub my wet brush on the crayon itself and pick up the pigments that way and apply them straight on the paper. And that works very well as well. But obviously you cannot really mix the pigments together that way. So once your layers are dry, you can re-wet them. They aren't permanent. 
So it's very much like watercolor or gouache. They're almost like gouache crayons rather than watercolor crayons because they're so opaque. Once I was done adding the details, I probably could have stopped right there. But because I'm a stickler for details, of course I had to continue and I added the shadows. Um, I was not super happy with what they looked like on the stone paper, but since they were down, I just I had to go with it. And then on my reference photo, the whites were a lot wider. And although they looked just fine on my drawing, I decided to try to make them even more bright. So I tried to add more layers but after a while the paper wouldn't take much of the crayon anymore so i thought i tried to add gouache and turn this piece into a mixed media piece so the titanium gouache really made those highlights pop And to add those fine details, I decided to try colored pencils. Well, they didn't really work very well, especially on the gouache because my layers were too thick. And I think also I was using pencils that were a bit too hard. I used the uh, Caran d'Ache Pablo pencils. So it kind of cut into my layers of both gouache and Neocolor. So I didn't really use those very much. And then I thought I tried some Prisma colors because they're a lot softer and those worked a bit better. I was able to add a few more details with those. And in the end, I ended up using the Neo Colors again to add more colors and blend everything together again. So I'm pretty happy with the result. I need to play with those again on a bigger piece, not necessarily the format of the paper, but actually fill the paper and play with the crayons. Uh, for my first impression, I think they are a lot of fun and I think I'm going to do a lot more art with them. That's it for today. Thank you all for stopping by. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Have a wonderful day everyone. I'll see you soon in another video. Bye bye.